Hi, I'm Kendall King, conference chair uh, for AAAL's Denver 2020 conference. It'll be happening in just a month or so um, in the beautiful city of Denver. So the theme of this year's conference is looking back, moving ahead, and we hope that Denver 2020 will provide um, space to take stock of where we are as an organization, um, where we are as a field, and to consider what we need to productively move ahead on both of those fronts. Um, to that end, my team and I have put together um, what we think is a fabulous, diverse, engaging program, um, and also tried to provide lots of opportunities for critical, friendly conversations. So this year's uh, conference has five plenaries um, by field-leading researchers, more than three dozen curated colloquia, which offer both breadth and depth, um, 600 uh, cutting-edge individual research presentations, many exciting roundtables, and hundreds of poster sessions. So I encourage you to engage deeply and broadly in the wide range of, in the rich, wide range of content um, and rich content that this year's conference offers. Um, so AAAL 2020 um, offers you many events to facilitate networking, mentoring relationships, community building in the beautiful city of Denver. Um, some of these include um, not one, but two receptions on Saturday night, um, the following the um, first plenary. So there'll be the regular conference reception uh, that's held in the publishing area and also a Hacienda, um, sorry, Sobre Mesa reception that's held in the Hacienda restaurant, which is adjacent to the hotel. Um, and that one, which is organized by Jason Mazel, aims to bring together and support scholars of color. Uh, there's also a Sunday night reception hosted by uh, Sofia Chaparro at the University of Colorado Denver at Rhine House, uh, which is about a half mile away, maybe a 15 minute walk. And an early morning, Sunday morning, um, fun run, a uh, three mile fun run or walk um, around the Capitol area and the Cherry Creek Trail. And that's organized by uh, Leah Carey at the University of Minnesota. So these are really great opportunities for informal conversation, for camaraderie with fellow applied linguists. So please come join us for one or all of those. Um, we are also hosting, thanks to the work of Peter DaCosta and his committee, uh, a, a mentoring program that pairs junior and established scholars. Uh, we've made, or I should say they've made it because they've done all the work, uh, more than 100 matches. So we're encouraging people who are in that program to uh, meet up on the second floor of the Sheraton where we have extra small group seating. Um, I also encourage you, if, if this is one of your first times at the conference, to attend um, one of the two newcomer sessions that uh, Laura Collins, current president of AAAL, is hosting on Friday and Friday evening and also on Saturday. Um, and those are designed to kind of help people uh, navigate the conference if they're attending for the first time. So the conference is made, work, made possible through the work of hundreds of volunteers. Um, many of you are probably aware of the fact that uh, the review process took place over the summer. We had more than 625 people work as volunteer reviewers and strand coordinators. And there were many other dozens of individuals who participated. I'm sure some of you um, are in this group. Uh, on committees and task forces related to conference planning, awards, special events. So thank you. Um, this conference is uh, a work of labor, <laughs> obviously, and of love of so many of us um, and so many volunteers. It's really humbling to see as, as chair how many people work um, to make this event a success. Um, another really important part of making the conference a success is the publishers um, and their collaboration and support. We have more than 15 with us. Uh, this year, so I encourage you to stop by their tables. Um, the coffee breaks will be located in, um, in that area as well, so they are eager to see you and talk with you. A uh, couple of friendly reminders, please wear your badges. That's super important for security, conference planning, catering. Um, for the first time, we're going to have privacy tents called mamabas for um, breastfeeding, 
or alternatively for prayer or meditation or privacy space. Those are located um, outside, in the halls outside of the Majestic Ballroom. They're kind of big white tents. You can't miss them. Um, other thing to keep in mind, for the first time, we will not have um, a bulky conference program. Um, you're not going to get that upon check-in. We're trying to be as clean as possible. Um, you'll get a simple paper printed grid. All information uh, is going to be on our conference website. That's already there um, on our searchable schedule. Or it can be found on our smartphone app. So the app is really the best place to plan your day, find late-breaking updates, see new changes in scheduling, um, and review daily highlights. Um, so I encourage you to um, attend as many sessions as you can, both in your area and beyond, to go to the plenaries, um, to go to the business meeting to find out um, what we're working on as an organization, and also to learn about the 2020 program, uh, sorry, 2021 program that Patsy Duff will be announcing, um, and to attend the receptions, introduce yourself to new people, uh, and um, welcome to our community. I look forward to seeing you in Denver in just about a month. Take care. Bye.